Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of my LEGO Terrain Automation Project. In the previous episode you've seen that I had a lot of crashes going on and I solved that issue but against the price of course. The problem was mainly that um, the system wanted to start the trains too soon and the trains were also riding too fast. That was the 50% of the crashes that I, co I couldn't solve. So right now the trains are riding, well, pretty slow actually, but it prevents a lot of crashing. The downside of the slower speed of the trains and also the adjusted software is that the whole system has become less fast. So the problem is that the system has to wait longer for a train enters and has to wait longer before a train can start, can be started again. So that had some consequences to the amount of trains that you can run on one layout. And the absolute maximum is five trains, unfortunately. When I was beginning with this project, I was like, oh, well, maybe I can do like six, seven, maybe eight trains on one layout. But no, unfortunately, when there are that many trains, it's all crash, crash, crash. So um, I tried to make it as stable as possible and um, well, from six and more trains, the whole thing is going to hell. So five is the absolute maximum. Next to that, five is already a bit tricky because sometimes a uh, system does uh, make a crash. But um, we'll see it in a minute when I'm turning it on. Um, another thing that is a bit of bad news is maybe that um, I wanted to upload this video in a week or two weeks. But I lost a lot of time with uh, trying to fix the whole system and make it work. So now that it works, uh, with uh, what I will show you in a second, um, now it all works, I will do some cable management. As you can see, that's also necessary. And well, here I've done some cable management, but not very good, as you can see. Then we're going to put some buildings in uh, inside your layout, like you're used to see in my videos. And then we're going to shoot the video. But the thing is that the last week of March, I'm going to do some awesome stuff. Uh, another LEGO train project. And it's, it, if it all turns out well, it's going to be really awesome. But because of that, I lose uh, a bit of time. So I can't work on this project. So I expect now that I'm ready to upload the main video of this layout in the beginning of April in the first or second week. So you just have to have some patience, unfortunately. Um, another question that I had was about how do your switch motors work? Well, I'll come back to that in another video, um, which I will be uploading after this one. So I'm gonna start the system now and see that five trains is the maximum. So I don't hope that the whole thing crashes. <laughs> that would be very disappointing, of course. So we enable the system. And let's see oh, how it all works. Oh, there we go. And that's what's happening when trains are too close to each other. Let them just pull them apart. Alright. So let's stop the system now. 
some trains keep on running until uh, they hit an isolated part. That's it. Well, as you can see, this train was actually connected to the other train because they were too close to each other. But the rest of the system did work pretty well. So I'm actually very happy to see that it all worked out. And um, I'm ready to uh, move on and uh, I'm going to shoot the uh, main video. So thanks for watching and uh, <laughs> having uh, this journey with me. And I uh, hope to see you next time. Bye.